All right, so today I'm all dressed up so I can come out and try to make a, uh, an outrigger from a kayak. And fortunately I found these really easy downloadable plans. That's pretty awesome, I think. But we'll see how it turns out. I'll try to film some of this as we go, but uh, it ought to be fun. Okay, for today's big project, we're gonna be making an outrigger for my kayak. I have a wooden kayak I made last year, but it's just a little unstable, so I looked online and, and uh, fortunately, Florida Keys Wooden Boat Fishing had an um, episode of building his kayak where he panned over to the pontoon, so I was able to kind of see how he put it together. So I'm going to put together a fairly simple pontoon. I'll try to film some of this going on. And because when you bend a board, it's going to be closed at the top and opened at the I'm sorry, close at, close at the bottom, open at the top, it's going to shrink up the top a little bit. The top's going to want to come in a little bit. So, I got eight foot, got eight foot across the top, and I figured I'd do seven and a half feet down here. So I've clamped both the boards together exactly how they're going to go, and I'm going to take off a triangle off each side. I'll show you. There we go, about like that. So, noise alert. Okay, I tried to find a good spot for you. There's a little bit of wind today. So anyhow, I figured out approximately just by guessing that I need about an inch up and then kind of scarf, like a scarf joint. I don't think that's what it's called like this, but whatever. I'm just gonna mark that out, one inch. Both ways. I'm not a woodworker, obviously, I think. Now I'll mark one inch on the top board. All the way down. So I've made the mark, so I'm going to try to go from here all the way down to this tip, make it one flat kerf, or uh, I'm not sure what you'd call it. I'm not a woodworker. So let's try it. Let's see what the belt sander will do. I'm going to stay seated so I can kind of keep a close eye on it.
You know, I'm not worried too much about perfection like that. I trimmed off a little more than I should have because I'll be able to cover all that with the fiberglass and the filler and all that sort of thing. I just really want to get these two edges where when I flip it over, they'll mate up pretty good and leave me with a, with a nice little V like that. That's all I'm really trying to do right now. Keep them together. I'm gonna need another one. Here we go. All right, I put a little block in between to keep them separated at the top. Now I'm going to put the bottom together. I'm going to put some screws in to, so that the glue will have a good time to set and everything. Okay, so got it upside down now. And I'm going to fill in the crevice right here with some thickened epoxy so that then I can uh, sand it off really good as well as the ends too. So I'll sand them off and I'll shape them real nice. Okay, so I got the ends and the bottom with thickened epoxy. It looks ugly, but it'll all sand up nice. And then here's the, going to be the top that I'll shape to fit underneath it tomorrow. But uh, by tomorrow morning, I should be able to turn it over, then put some epoxy in the creases and paint the inside. Okay, you get the idea. All right, sorry, working one-handed. Uh, so I had uh, got the got the ends and the bottom all nice and sanded up. The front and the back, it's a foot from here to midpoint here, and same on the back. This is where my attachments are gonna go. I marked where I can put um, a couple of bolts in, you know, sticking straight up, so the wood will connect over to the kayak. But we're ready to go ahead and fill it, and then uh, glue the top on and screw it down. Very cool. Okay. Got some pool noodles cut up and shoved down in there. Got a little expanding foam that's going to go on top. I'll, I'll probably be able to film that. I'm going to cut this guy up too and put him in there, but uh, I can't, can't do it with just one hand. <laughs> You know I'm sanding at night. All right, so a few hours worth of sanding, and I'm actually pretty happy with the way this came out. 